Hi everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm and it's a beautiful morning and I just want to show you the beginning of my vegetable garden before I move on. In the spring it's filled with beautiful wildflowers, bachelor buttons, primrose, oxide daisies. I mean it's just incredible. Let me give you a quick look. That's Huggy and the bachelor buttons. It's just really beautiful. We eat these. Bladderwort, which is actually needs help before it goes extinct. The primrose, which I let self seed, and I sell a lot of the plants. And then by the time it's dry and warm enough, it's ready to put my garden in. So that's it on my vegetable garden. And we are going to plant vegetables today. But before that, oh, and there's my herb garden, which I have hundreds of herbs to go in. The garden we're going to put in today is not mine, it's Stefan. He wanted his own vegetable garden so he could grow his green beans and his peppers and any other fun thing. And that way he could build, can dig his swimming pool where his old garden used to be. So I'll let you know how that goes. But before I put in his peppers today, I need to do a borderline. Many reasons that's important. It defines a line where hopefully people don't go through. I'm still going to put a fence. But they're going to bring in the insects that I need for everybody's garden. And it'll help deter some of the ones that we don't want. So let me show you the first plant. The first plant we're putting in is the Stachys Humulo. And do you remember, these are the ones that I divided early spring, and they look amazing. They even have a weed in there. Pull that out now. So, when I plant these, same thing. Peppers for the mole. Now, I'm using Job's, since these flower, a little fertilization, but Stecky's doesn't need a lot of fertilization. They're out of the mint family and um, and related to the lamb's ears. And they're tough. They really are. Why do I want these? Beauty. They are known for bumblebees. They're actually named. Humulo is a German word for bumblebee. Pollinators, can't go wrong with those. So I just put that in and make it flush with the ground. For the top coat, we're just putting some compost. Compost it keeps it cool and adds fertilization. You know, as you water, it um, pushes the fertilization from the compost down. Okay, and that's it. Okay, this was the 2019 plant of the year. There's a reason and you'll see it. It'll come back every year. It'll get thicker and produce more flowers. This year it got cut in half, <laughs> thrown into this ground, and I don't know if it'll flower, but it's there. Let me show you the next one. All right, we had to move locations. It got super sunny and windy so it goes back and forth storms are coming in but i'm trying to get this in so i need a shade break anyway so the next two plants well before i do that the stackies cumulo i used a bag and three quarters each bag is one cubic feet so one and three quarters cubic feet to put the 12 in they don't like a lot of attention, but, and I also put a pinch of Job's because it's great for flowering plants, and it does. And 
Our house, when it burned down, I mean, they came in with all this equipment. It looked like the ground got went down two inches at least, or three inches. It's so compact, you can't even put a shovel in it. That's why we're tilling too, light till. But um, normally I do the lasagna effect. So the next two plants that we're putting in, you know how I feel about lamb's ears, anything with the silver foliage. And watch the video, it's about lamb's ears being the safest plant. It's a long time ago, but I planted them with the roses, which is stunning looking. Okay, what does this have to do with Stefan's um, garden? For one, it's beautiful, and I love that. It matches all our pots around the well house, so that's perfect. And it does some other stuff. It deters mosquitoes. Mosquitoes don't like this plant. I have enough mosquitoes on this farm with water. <laughs> so I don't need any more. Okay, so that's a good one. And this one is also tough. All the plants I put on that border are tough. They're Mediterranean or from Brazil, you know, it's just, they're tough. So this one doesn't need a lot of care either. Okay, so I have some that keeps the mosquitoes away. I have the Humulo, or Humulo, I always say that wrong, brings in the bumblebees, which is great. Then we have Gomfrina. I love this. This is the Purple Globe Amaranth, and this is edible. It's perfect if you don't want to eat it, the, although the grain is very nutritious. Um, for crabs in the fall, so maybe we'll do something, a wreath or something. So, if I cut these flowers and don't let them die on the plant when it frost, they'll stay purple. Okay, so what does this do? Something very important, because we're planting tomatoes and peppers and other stuff. Corn, maybe even. It keeps cutworms away. Now, cutworms, just like it says, it cuts the plant in half. It starts eating it all the way through the stem and it just, that's it. So any plant that keeps the cutworm away is perfect. So what I'll do with these, since these are edible, and it's just a small amount, I'm just gonna take a hand of compost, put the red pepper in the hole, and I'm gonna use Nature's Care because it's organic and we eat it. And um, that should help. So let me um, line those up and plant them. And I'll see you when I'm done. Hopefully it's less sunny and windy so I get to do the final walkthrough. All right, so they're all laid out. And then all I have to do is plant them. Right, all the plants are in so hopefully the sun's not too bright the storm's coming in now remember when you plant a vegetable garden plant flowers plant a border plant shrubbery it all helps with many things it brings in the good bugs keeps the bad bugs out and some mammals I hope like a groundhog and um, then you could plant inside. You know what you're going to put. So for us, we knew we were planting peppers here. So we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to companion plant with petunias and garlic and onions and my favorite basil. Can you have enough basil? It smells amazing. It's tasty and you could store it all winter. So this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. This is Stefan's garden. Although Grammy's doing all the work, he has to study. And I'll see you tomorrow.